Not many memories because uh, I was an 18 year old who was escaping from a football club for a season so I was on the rip quite a bit. Um, yeah, now we played we played up there in uh, in France's ground. We used to play every Sunday morning now, and we try and think Pat Dolan was still here at the time. Uh, we used to train down in Palmerstown, down in George Hospital, and uh, some tough training sessions. But um, yeah, that was kind of a little stopgap in between my time at Aston Villa, you know. I came back because uh, after the time I was uh, I was home for the eighteens, I went back to Aston Villa and I was released then, you know. So I I knew that was coming, but uh, I came back then. I played a few games for Bluebell. I had a couple of friends playing there, and uh, yeah, I think Eamon Collins or someone spotted me playing there, and obviously I would have had a bit of a profile from going away when I was younger. And it was quite highly rated, you know, and uh, but. Played at Bluebell for a couple of games and then I came down here and went from there, you know, I started training. I think we were training out in League Slip at the time, up in uh, up there in League Slip training, there was a fast course on and all. Uh, but yeah, it was kind of, I signed for Pat's then, and looked after me, kind of uh, allowed me to come and go as I pleased, kind of, you know, like it was, it was hard coming back and stuff. And uh, yeah, I went from there, I made my debut then. Um, against Waterford away, I was on the bench for the first couple of games. I think we played Cork or something away, maybe at home, and then um, we went down to Waterford. And I, uh, yeah, I made my debut then, and I scored a free kick from about thirty-five yards from an angle, and the referee disallowed it for um, indirect or something like that. So that was a bit disappointing. But after that, we started every game. I think that season it was great. It was great to actually play, you know. Just play league football at any level, you know. I'd never played it. I played a few reserve games at Aston Villa, done very well. But uh, it was great to just get playing, you know. Yeah, it was a great goal. Yeah, it was kind of just off the cuff, got the ball from throwing, cut inside and hit it. I'd say if uh, social media now was around back then, I'd say I would have had a very few goals uh, flying around, going viral and that. But um, I scored also a free kick against Bowles in the semi-final. Um, what year was it? I think it was 2003, yeah. Um, semi-final, the FEI Cup. We had a replay here at Richmond. Brilliant game. We won 4-3. Um, yeah, that was a big memory of mine as well, playing down here. That was probably, probably the most memorable game we played and you know uh, in terms of what, what what was at stake and the fans and it was on telly and uh we kind of i kind of made me mark then you know well, it was in lansdowne yeah it was sent off we didn't we didn't ever got going that game um and me hot headed, headed the young fella um got sent off for a lunge and sean pronty then towards the end of the game and we ended up losing it 2-0 not great memories for me that, you know, uh, but that season we also played Longford in the League Cup final. We beat them, I don't know how we managed to beat them in that game, we, we nicked the 1-0. I think David Freeman scored, um, Paulo Salmon that was playing, uh, it was a tough night, I tell you, I don't know how we came out of that with a win, but um, we managed to get through it, yeah. Yeah, well, obviously I come back from um, from Drogheda, uh, disappointed, happy, disappointed, a bit of both, you know. Like I was, back, I was glad to be back here because it didn't go well for me up there at all, you know. Uh, a lot of it was my own fault, but um, no, I was happy to get back here and happy to get back. The the management hadn't changed, right? And Johnny was still here. Um, he took me back. There was a bit of investment in the club. Uh, Gareth had just taken over, I think, and there was a bit of a buzz around the club, you know. And we had uh, we were training up in Selbridge, and uh, it was like a full time thing. You were getting your kit washed and all, which was unheard of, you know. Like there was things like that that really made it feel, Jesus, this is great, you know. So um, going up there it was brilliant. It was. Um, Playing wise, yeah, I I felt I was doing really well, and th we we kind of finished. I think 2007 we finished second behind Drogheda, uh, which was disappointing. And then the next year, my last year, we finished second behind Bowles. Bowles only conceded like 13 goals that season, but um, we played some really good football, you know. Uh, Joseph and Dow was here for a bit, he moved on. Alan Kirby, uh, Gary Dempsey, Ryan Goy, who uh, it was great to have in the team, you know. Not the most technical player, but 
used to give us great width on the on the right hand side. And yeah, there was great times. Mark Quigley, Barry Ryan. Um, it was great. Like the, we had a good squad there. It was just a pity we didn't win something together, you know. Uh, the European run, is, which I'm sure you're coming to next day. It was brilliant again. It was really good memories like over there. And uh, I was struggling around with a knee injury at the time, which haunted me for my whole career. Um, but uh, yeah, I remember trying and there. Uh, after the game as well, the game we didn't do too badly. Like we done all right. We got beaten two nil. Um, I think it was nil all at half time, and they came out a lot stronger than the second half for the first fifteen twenty minutes, you know. And um, then uh, what was it? Yeah, we gave away two two sloppy goals, I thought. And then um, Jim Lawler. I remember Jim Lawler being thrown into the swim uh, in the swimming pool into the jacuzzi after the game. You know, he was drenched. But they uh, all good memories, you know. Um, yeah, and then we come back. We played them in the RDS then in uh, the return the return leg. And uh, we drew nil all. Now, we probably should have got something out of the game. But, um, again, it was a good performance, you know. It's just uh, disappointing that we didn't get a draw or something like win 2-0 and maybe take the extra time, you know. Yeah, definitely. Like there was a few clubs watching me, but um, I was told someone was keeping me in the loop. Who was watching me? I was told that they couldn't really uh, value me performances against like teams in the league here. So when it came to Europe, I was quite fortunate that we had a a very good run. Like we played uh, a Latvian side who we we beat quite handily. Um, Elfsborg, who were a good side, uh, good in possession, very good side, good on the counter attack. Um, yeah, so we played against. I played against a couple of internationals in that team, and like in the two games, uh, well, probably not over there personally, but it's, uh, the game at home was definitely uh, better than them. But um, I remember the game away over in Elsborg, we were 2 0 down, and um, Gary Dempsey popped up with a lay head out, great goal, Brian Guy down the right hand side, great move. Um, Mark quickly got a panel over there, and then the home game. Uh, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. We actually went one 0 down. Great atmosphere. It's the best atmosphere I ever. Was it the best? Yeah, it was the best atmosphere I ever experienced in Richmond. You know, uh, there was a right crowd, and we went one 0 down, and the kind of life was sucked out of the place. You know, and I think it was around the 86 minute we got a corner, and Jay Gavin. I took the corner. Jay Gavin got up and held it, and that was us true. You know, so I was thinking, just slow it down, keep the ball or whatever, and. Um, what was it? Yeah, uh, Alan Kirby down the left hand side. Then I don't think I'm not sure if it was meant for Mark Quigley, but he played the ball through and Quigley just ended up round the keeper like he walked into the net. It was brilliant, like great memories, you know. Yeah, really fond memories of that game. You now that toy especially and and the Hertha Berlin toy. Um, yeah, the, like the clubs in England, they they kind of. I remember Alec McLeish even saying to me, he said we couldn't judge on what you were playing against in the league. Like, and no disrespect to the league or the players you're playing against, though. We, but um, he said uh, he said like we had to see it against the European opposition. So yeah, it was great, very fortunate and very thankful to the club, you know, to for to be in that pos that position to get me move away because uh, I would have in hindsight probably had regrets about when I was younger you know I had a good uh, good chance to do very well and kind of messed it up myself you know uh, it was hard found it hard when I was younger and then to get the chance to go away again was really good yeah Oh, he was always going. Like I remember saying to me, "Life father, God rest him." Um, I remember saying to him, "Look, there's a chance I, I could, I could move away." Like I wasn't sure at the time, but me, me dad just wished me the wished me the best. He said, "Look, if you get a chance, definitely take it." You know, so, um, there was no, I was never really thinking about it. Uh, I was always going to go. I was going to a side that were kind of pushing for promotion in the championship, and. When I got in the side, I stayed in the side. I scored goals and I got assists and all in the promotion run, which was brilliant. And yeah, like you said, they made me debut um, in the Premier League. Then against Man United at Old Trafford, it doesn't come any bigger than that, you know. Like it was just stuff, dreams, dreams that I made. Like my dreams I made it out as a as a kid, you know. Me dad, God rest him, we say again, but uh, he held around. Like me dad died of cancer, God rest him, and. Uh, it was a few days after the debut, you know, like so. It was great that my dad got to see it, and um, 
really special moment because we hated United as well as kids. Uh, as kids and as a family, we hated United for some reason, but um, that was just brilliant, like the way it ended. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do. Like, I, from going from here, like, I would have been a bit of a flair player probably here, like, long range passes, little flicks here and there, driving with the ball, running with the ball. Like, when I went over there, I soon noticed that like the players were on the same skill level as myself, you know. So I kind of adapted my game. I ended up playing a lot on the left hand side in the Premier League, like more as a second left back really, you know. Um I would have played centre mid when I needed to play on the right side, I played right back over there and all like anywhere. I would just make sure they done well in training every day and just give the manager the opportunity to be picked, for me to be picked, you know. Yeah, it was brilliant, yeah, again, Arsenal, I used to follow Arsenal as a kid, it was great, like, playing in front of, again, you dream of that, 90,000 at Wembley, you know, you do dream of that, um, in the meantime, like, we had, when I got there, we had a promotion, we had two years in the Premier League, we had a relegation, we had a European Cup run, um, and a League Cup win, all sandwiched into that, like, in a, in a three and a half, four years or something, like, it was just, it was amazing, and all, all the time there, like while that was going on I, I made my debut for Ireland I got in the Ireland side like into the squads and stuff so within like a very short amount of time uh, so much happened for me personally personally very good you know and, and then I had the tragic loss of my father um, but so much happened in that four years like that you couldn't Jesus like if that happened over a lifetime for most people you'd say well done like so it was hard to actually sit and reflect and say, Jesus, I've done well, or, you know. Yeah, I made my debut, uh, I think it was against Paraguay. I couldn't tell you, because I remember we played Paraguay and Algeria, or something like this, Paraguay, yeah. Um, <laughs> Paraguay and Algeria, we played in the RDS, I remember. I think the Aviva or something was being uh, built and stuff. And, uh, yeah, it was great, like, it was great to get my debut. I don't, like... I would, um, I, my first goal, my competitive goal for Ireland over in Armenia was probably the biggest highlight now for Ireland for me. Like, my debut was my debut, but I kind of had, oh, it's only in the RDS and, you know, like, it's only a friendly, you know, so I would have knocked myself for that even. But um, to get my first goal over in Armenia and it was such an important goal and to be involved then around the squads. Um, I was in every squad that I was fit for uh, from, from the first time I got into the squad and generally I, I used to get on the pitch like there was a couple of games I started I started out in Slovakia an important game um, but generally I'd be brought on to keep the ball and stuff it was just great to be part of it again like things you dream of I, I probably thought I'd missed the boat on it you know but um, it was great it was just brilliant like I said dreams dreams as a kid and for them to come through for me, like, uh, it was brilliant, you know. Yeah, well, that's it. After being away when I was younger, like, when I was young, I used to just... I wanted to be a footballer, but I didn't know you had to leave and go go to England and leave everyone at home, all that sort of stuff. But uh, quite naive as a kid, and I, I'm glad because I just wanted to be a footballer. I didn't want the fame, I didn't want the, the money, the cars, all that things, the way a lot of kids... I think now look for you know so um yeah it was it was great to to get over and, and fulfill my dreams you know um I feel very fortunate and very grateful for it yeah. I was always going to come home like but again the way it panned out for me um I kind of at Birmingham I, I had a hip injury and a knee injury that like I was playing with for a long time you know my knee I had that when I was at Pats even, and I, I, I done well to play as long as I did with it. But, um, yeah, I, I came home, then I ended up going on trial to Sheffield United, then I dislocated my toe, and I said, oh, Jesus, I, I was sick of rehabbing injuries and that, like, and, like, I didn't want to believe it, but my body was kind of starting to jack it in, you know, so um, I come back here and... I spoke to Liam and then signed for Pats, signed for Pats again for the fourth time. So, uh, yeah, I came there. I remember I signed at a boot on my foot. It was around Christmas time. Like, I was really genuinely excited to get going, yeah, and get back get back down here, you know, where the love for football was kind of rekindled at the start, you know.
For the fans, for me to come back after what happened in the 2003 final and all, I felt I had unfinished business and it was great for for everyone to get like, to finish that whole hoodoo or whatever you call it over the, the cup and it was great for me as well to come back and and uh, give the fans a present, you know, because like, I genuinely had a great connection with them when, when I was here before. When I come back myself personally, I probably I definitely wasn't the player I was when I left, you know, and it was it was probably hard for me to to accept, and it was probably hard for the fans as well to accept, you know. So I didn't like when I got a bit of criticism, you know, like, but that's football, you know. Yeah, it was brilliant. Like the whole build up to it, there was a sense of confidence, not cockiness now around around the squad. I I felt that anyway that. We were confident that we were, like, I was confident and I felt a, a confidence around the squad that we were going to win, you know. Daddy had done, I think, okay that season and had a few good players, you know. Um, but the game itself, I remember just warming up, trying to make sure I warmed up well and I, I got all my passes right and just making sure I was hitting the levels during the warm-up as I was going along. And, yeah, it went well for me and the, the game then. Not much in the first half, a couple of little half chances, long balls from Sean Haw, Christy Fagan in. And then the second half opened up a little bit. It was quite tight first half. Second half opened up a little bit and, yeah, I found a bit of space and got uh, got in behind them. And squared it to Christy, who scored the first one, and I was wrecked you now. <laughs> my legs were catching up with me in that game, I think, as well. Like, you know, end to end, second half. I remember another time we broke, and I just couldn't run any further. So I actually I squared one over for Christy again. But, um, yeah, when the second goal went in, it was just a sense of relief and all that stuff. Like, I kind of felt right, box ticked for me, myself personally for... Um, to do what I, I wanted to do, I wanted to, to help the lads win the win the cup and come back and give a bit back to the fans and the club, you know. If there was one thing, I'd say um, it'd have to be the cup win, you know. Just from the history, the history I've had with the, like, I've been here, that was my fourth time being here. Like, I always felt something was good was going to come of it, you know, not just personally, like, something to get out with the club and the fans. I think the... The cup win definitely like was the highlight over the whole lot of them. Yeah, personally, I've had good, uh, good things. I've had like the PFEI Player of the Year, and all that stuff. Been in a few teams of the year and stuff. But um, like I haven't won an awful lot. I've won a couple of cups with different sides, and um, yeah, it was definitely the the highlight for my time here at Pats. Yeah, 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 I do. I've, I've plenty of good memories here. Even the people down here, like. Um, some still s still the same faces here some of them you know like it's still it's nice to come down and like uh i've, I've very fond memories and when i do come down like the pictures on the wall the jerseys there you have there like it's just it just reminds me of such good times you know